In this video, I'm going to be replacing a body cab mount on this 2003 GMC Sierra Extended Cab Pickup. Alright, this is a replacement mount I bought online. It's part number 924-335. This is a Dorman replacement part. It's got all the mounting plates, bushing. There's the big bushing itself and the bolt. All right, we're going to go to this body mount on the extended cab of this Sierra. This is the mount that's busted out. The bushing is actually gone. This mount, you can see the bushing starting to peel away from around the, the bottom plate, but the owner only wanted to spend the money to have this one replaced. You can actually move the actual body of the truck, but you can push the body of the truck and you can see this move up and down quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bolt out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the rest of the body mounts. Uh, down this side of the truck and then I'm going to jack up the body itself to be able to pull this mount out and replace them. Alright, I'm going to pull this 18 millimeter bolt out. That's a really long bolt. There you go. Alright, so that's the, rear, that's the extended cab body mount. This is the middle body mount. We're going to go ahead and loosen this one. All right, so I've got my floor jack. I've got a four by four block of wood. I'm just gonna lift the actual body of the truck and separate it from this body mount bracket. And I'm gonna slide the body mount bushing out. Okay, I've got quite a ways to go still. Okay, there it is. All right, I took my jack down and put another four by four block in there. My jack was up as high as it could go and I still didn't have enough room to fit my body mount in. Now the body mount frame and the cab of the truck is separated far enough this way that I can get my new body mount in. The hole for the mount is oval, just like this one. So we'll just slide that up in there. I'm trying to get it to fit down in here pretty tight fit all right so I'm having a difficulty getting that to go in the hole there so what I'm gonna do is lower the jack and just let the weight of the cab kind of push that bushing down into that spot there we go okay so that's the whole weight of the cab on the bushing now it's not all the way down I don't think so I'm gonna jack this back up. All right, I finally got it to go in. I put uh, some copious amounts of WD-40 around the outside of the rubber bushing there. Got my fingers on top and just kind of wiggled it and it, it finally fit. So we're ready to lower the cab back down onto the mount and uh, we'll put in the rest of our body mount and then tighten it down with that bolt. Okay. All right, that mount seated a lot better. Okay, this is the lower portion I've got. Um, I'm a little confused. I'm not sure what these rings are for. If you look at the way the stock mount came off, it was just the bushing with the plate underneath it. All the rest of these block mounts look this way. I'm not sure if I'm doing this exactly right. This seems right to me. So we're gonna go ahead and just put it back the way it was stock. Right, hopefully this bolt that they gave me is long enough. And I hope my bolt hole lines up. I'm not so sure that bolt hole lined up. All right, the bolt that came in the kit, the head is a little bit different than this one. This one in the kit does not want to start threading. So it looks like I'm gonna have to use the stock bolt, which I really don't want to do, but it doesn't look like I have much choice. I 
Again, that's an 18 millimeter bolt. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I don't want to do it too tight because then it just puts too much stress on that bushing. Now that I got that tightened down, I'm going to tighten down that other body mount I let loose. All right, so that's how you replace the body mount on a GMC Sierra, same for Silverado and GM trucks, basically. You know, I'm not even entirely sure that I even got the right body mount for the truck. The hardware was a little bit different. The bolt wasn't the same. So I'm thinking that possibly I didn't get the right body mount, but you get the idea of how to replace it. And use your jack to separate the body from the frame. That way you can get this chunky body mount in there and then button it in. So whichever body mount you're supposed to use for this truck, uh, that's basically the principle on how to replace it. You gotta loosen a couple other body mounts just to give yourself enough uh, leeway to be able to get this big fat bushing in. So anyway, I hope in some way this video was helpful to you. If, if so, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you happen to know if this was the wrong body mount, leave a comment below. I'd be interested to know which one. It was kind of hard to tell whenever I ordered this online, which one. A couple of different body mounts that uh, were listed. Anyway, I got this replaced. About 60 bucks for just a single mount. You can buy an entire mount kit that does every single body mount. I think it was around $200 or something like that. But anyway, the owner of the vehicle just wanted the one mount replaced. Didn't want to deal with the rest of them. So, all right. Hopefully this video was helpful. Leave a comment below if you'd like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn that notification bell on so you know whenever I post new videos. Thanks for watching. God bless. See you next time.